welcome rock stars. I'm Coach Amanda with Team Betty Rocker. So excited to have you with me today. We have an awesome lower body workout for us today. I'm so excited. I know I probably say that all the time, but I'm super excited for this workout. Um, you don't need any equipment. I will be using uh, weighted objects and an elevated surface. If you don't have that, that's okay. You can still get this accomplished, but I do recommend grabbing some weighted objects and an elevated surface just to get the most out of this workout. Uh, make sure you have your water. Make sure you warm up if you need to pause this and get a quick warm up in and then come back. That's great. Um, but let's go ahead and just get started into this workout. We're going to warm up the lower body. I want you to start in a sumo squat stance. So feet pretty wide, um, not so wide that your knees are going to buckle in, but enough that you can still pull out your knees and your knees are tracking your toes. So we're going to start coming down. So open those knees up. So you can kind of play around with this first positioning, make sure everything feels good. We're opening those inner thighs. Good. You should also feel this kind of pulling on the outer sides of your legs and then press back up to those heels. Good. Come straight down. Good. Feel those muscles warming up and come up. You might not be able to go down so far right away as we warm up those ligaments, but we're just going to come down and back up. Good. Okay. Now we're going to add in a little pulse. So when we come down, we're going to do one, two and stand. Good. Squeeze those glutes down one, two and stand. Give me two more, two and stand. Good. Squeeze those glutes at the top. Open up those hips, full extension. Last one and stand. Awesome work. So we're going to start this next one. It's going to work our way up into a reverse lunge to a step up, but we're just going to warm ourselves up for this first one into a reverse lunge. So I want you to start shoulder width apart or feet shoulder width apart. Core is engaged, so we're tucking that pelvis, shoulder blades are back and down, and we're just gonna step back into this reverse lunge and come back, good. Step back, drive through that front heel to come to standing, and I want you to shoot that hip all the way forward to full extension with that core engaged. Good. Okay, if you feel comfortable with this, I want you to just keep going with this. If you wanna add in some intensity, we're gonna come a little bit closer to our elevated surface, lunge, Place that foot on this box and step up, squeezing that glute. Step back down, reverse lunge, plant that foot, stand, and come back down. Good. Give me two more, whether it's a reverse lunge or a step up. You can hold on to that wall for support. Last one. And good. Awesome work. Okay, same thing on that next side. We're going to do a reverse lunge. So same thing, tuck that pelvis, engage that core. Step back and come to standing. Good. Step back, come to standing. If you need a chair on the side of you to support you, that's great. Good. Okay. So now we have that reverse lunge down. We're going to step up to that box and stand. Good. Come back down. Reverse lunge. Plant that foot, drag through that heel and stand. Come down. Good. And again, maybe this is a little bit too challenging for you. If your box is lower than mine, that's great. You could even use some yoga blocks or even some wadded up towels, like folded up towels. Good, last one and rest. That's a fun move. I love the complexity of coming down, back up and going up and down. Okay, we're gonna get our heart rate up with some jumping jacks as if it's not already up, right? Okay, jumping jacks, 30 seconds and go. Good. If this is too much for you, just slow it down and do some tap outs. Even in our jumping jacks, we're pulling our shoulder blades down and back. We're not just rounding forward and doing jumping jacks like this, right? Our back is pulled back, our chest is open, our core is engaged. Good. Keep jumping, we got this. Keep breathing through it. Get that oxygen to your body. Three, two, one, and rest. Amazing work. Okay, sumo squat pulses, we know what we're doing. If you want to challenge yourself, add those pulses. And for those reverse lunges to step ups, work within your limits, okay? Are we ready? Sumo squat stance. Shoulder blades down, back, engage that core. Open up those knees, pull and go. Sumo squat and pulse to stand, good. Sumo squat, down, pulse to stand, down, pulse, stand. Good, give me a big exhale here at the top. Give all of your energy 
into that stand, pushing away from the earth, and keep those knees tracking your toes. As we start to get fatigued, we're gonna feel our knees kind of buckle in. I want you to pull those out, good. And one more. Come on, down, pulse. And stand, how are those inner thighs? Awesome work, okay. Reverse lunge to step up, eight to 12. If you're just doing those reverse lunges, that's great, give it your best. Ready? And reverse lunge, step up to stand. Reverse lunge, step up, really drive through that glute. On that reverse lunge, we're gonna push through our front heel. We're gonna plant that heel in the box. We're gonna drive through that front heel. Good. If that reverse lunge is a little bit easy without the step up and you want an alternative, you could practice that knee drive, powerful drive up and hold. Reverse lunge, powerful drive up and hold. Just like that. Or you can even add in a little hop if you wanna get crazy with it. Otherwise, give me three more. Stand and drive. Reverse lunge. Squeeze that glute at the top. I can't say it enough. And switch sides. Feel that glute. Okay, are we ready? Next leg. Reverse lunge. Step to drive. Make sure that you're stepping close enough to that box where you don't feel like your knee's shooting over your toe, but you're also not stretching your leg out to stand. You want to keep that 90 degree angle. Reverse lunge, good, nice, slow and controlled. Powerfully drive up to that posterior chain. Good work, hang tight, you're rocking it. And you don't have to do that final knee drag, you could just come up to standing to support yourself and then come right on back down. Good, give me two more. Drive up, knee drive. Last one, reverse lunge, plant that foot, drive up, and relax. Okay, let's get these jumping jacks done. We'll take a little water break, and go. Good. If you feel like you wanna increase your intensity, remember we do have another circuit after this, but you could add in some squats. So squat jack, in and tap, and back out. In and tap, and back out. Otherwise, we can just get our heart rate up, save those legs for our strength moves, and just do some jumping jacks. Good, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, amazing job, grab some water. Control that breath. Okay, last and final set of this circuit. We got those sumo squats, reverse lunge to step up, and jumping jacks. If you want to increase that intensity, you can grab a weighted object. For those sumo squats, we're gonna just hold it right here in front of our chest like a goblet. To point those toes out. Roll our shoulder blades down and back, especially when we have a weight in front of us. We don't wanna let it pull us forward. We wanna pull back, engage those glutes, and squat, pulse, stand, good. Squat, pulse, stand. Give everything you got to that standing motion. And big exhale, good. Remember, we're not just locking out our knees, we're shooting our hips forward and engaging that core. Good work, keep it up. We're almost there. Make sure those knees are driving out, right? I think I did a few more pulses there. Good, squeeze, give me one more. And rest, awesome work. Okay, same thing if you wanna add some weighted object to that step up, you can. Um, but I want you to make sure that your form is impeccable. If you have any balance issues, now is not the time to add that weight, right? It's just gonna increase the challenge of it and we're gonna get even wobbly and risk injury. So make sure you're listening to your body. Roll our shoulder blades down and back, engage that core. And reverse lunge, step to stand. Good, slowly come down. You can recenter yourself with a little toe tap and then right back down, good. Reverse lunge. Awesome work. Woo! Adding this weight is so good for the quads, right? 
halfway there. Make sure we're not arching our backs when we come to that reverse lunge. Keep that chest up, core is engaged. And step, squeezing our glutes at the top. And especially as we come down, make sure that heel stays planted. We're coming down with our, not our toe lifted. And reverse, give me two more. Step, good. Last one, and down and switch. You can shake out those legs if you'd like to. Okay, reset, shoulder blades, engage that core, and reverse lunge. To step, to stand. Again, if you wanna work on that balance, you can bring that knee up. Otherwise, just give yourself a little toe tap down or come to standing. Good work. Make sure those weights aren't pulling us forward. Keep that strong core. Awesome job. This is an endurance move. Good. Awesome job. Give me three more. Reverse. Stand. Push through. You got this. Two more. And last one. Make it your best one yet. And rest. Awesome job. You can drop those weights. And let's just get into our last round of jumping jacks. We'll take a little break and go. Jump. Good, keep breathing through this. Light landings. Jumping off the balls of our feet. Again, you can do those tap outs if you're getting to the point where you cannot go anymore. Keep it up. We're almost there, 10 seconds. Don't quit now, you get a break after this. So push through. Three, two, one, and rest, high five. Grab some water. Awesome work. Woo. Okay, let's slow our heart rate down. Big inhales, good, big exhale. Good, one more. Big inhale, hold it, and big exhale. Amazing work. One circuit down, we have another super circuit. We're gonna be doing, again, legs, but we're gonna isolate a different part of our legs. So, we're doing a squat hold to step out. If you have a band, you're welcome to use that. I'm not using one today, but just so you know, you have the option to add in some extra resistance. Um, Okay, so we're gonna start in a squat position, so feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna come straight down. Notice my knees aren't way out here, or way buckled in. They're tracking almost like my second toe or my pinky toe. We're just gonna hold like this from the side. We're not rounded, we're not super arched. Nice neutral spine, and I want you to just hold this. Good, feel those legs, feel those quads. We should also be loading that posterior chain. So you should feel those hamstrings active. Okay, from here, we're gonna do 30 seconds of tap out. So we're gonna stay in the squat position, we're gonna tap out, come back in and tap behind. Good, same thing, tap out, tap behind. So we're creating constant contraction in this quad, back, backwards, good. So from the side, we're coming out as far as we can, keeping that core engaged and stepping back. Notice I'm not arching my back. Step out, step back. Good, I know it burns. I want you to push through, give me eight more seconds. Feel that quad, if you need to come out of it a little bit, you can. You do not have to be all the way down. And rest. Whew, how about that glute? Okay, next leg, same exact thing. I'm gonna start this way, I keep kicking the wall. Okay, squat down and go. Step out, all the way out and all the way back, good. Stay low in that squat. We're just tapping out, tapping back. We're not stopping to rest or be in a lunge. We're just staying nice and contracted. Feel that outer glute. Good work. Keep breathing, give me five more seconds. Keep that chest up tall, keep that core engaged. Last toe tap back and rest. Oh, those glutes. Okay, so if you can just do this with 
body weight, that's great. Otherwise you can add some weight. We're gonna do calf raises. So I'm just gonna hold my weight right in front of me. We're gonna do 15 to 20. Toes are just facing forward and we're just going to lift up on our toes. Good. Two, three, Make sure we're not arching our back or leaning forward. We're coming straight up and slowing ourselves down. We don't want to just fall down. We can make these super easy or super challenging. You choose. Good. All the way up. Kind of hold it for a second and then slow on the way down. Good work. Push up. Push up. Good. Give me five more. And on the last one, we're gonna hold up at the top for five seconds. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, last one. Up and hold. Woo! Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my gosh. I know we call those calf raises, but I feel them all the way up into my quads or up into my hamstrings and glutes. Okay, our next move is gonna be that box steps down. If you have a box that's a little bit high, I recommend just wadding up towels and stacking them or using your yoga blocks. But we're gonna start at the top of our box, okay? With both feet. So just standing here like this. For 30 seconds, we're gonna come straight down, tap our toe, powerfully come up and switch. Powerfully come up and switch. If that impact is too much, you can just do toe tap down, okay? Time starts now. Toe tapping down, make sure our heel is planted. We're shifting ourselves backwards. We're not just coming forward over our toe. So keep that chest up. You can work, hold onto a wall or a chair for support, just like that. But we're alternating. Good. Quick, quick steps down. Good. Okay, if you wanna pick up that speed, it's just gonna be a little bit of a hop at the top. Burn out those quads. Good, give me five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Amazing job. Okay, so that's our circuit. Super fun, right? Let's go ahead and do that two more times. I almost said three more times. Just two more times. Grab some water and we'll get right into it. Okay, are we ready? Are we ready to rumble? Let's do this. Squat hold. If you wanna add some weight to this, you can, again, in a goblet position. But if you feel yourself pulling your chest forward, I want you to immediately drop the weight because we're not gonna compromise our core just for a better leg workout. So we're gonna start, feet shoulder apart, core is engaged, squat down, hold it here, and go. Tap out, tap back, good. Squeeze that glute back here, but keep that weight on that bent leg. For 10 seconds in. Good, stay low, as low as you can. Again, if that's distracting you, drop that weight and just do touchbacks, holding onto the wall if you need. Push through. Make them a little bit quicker, keeping that stability in that bent leg and rest. Let's get right into it. Next leg, I'm gonna move my timer over here so I don't lose it. Okay, ready? Bend that leg, or bend those knees, and go. Tap, tap back, good. Chest up, pull those shoulder blades back and down. And if at any point that's too much, drop that weight and keep going. You can hold on to that wall just to get a little bit lower. Whew, feel that glow. You should be feeling this in your posterior chain. If you're feeling this in your quad, you're a little bit too far forward. So shift your hips back. Good, tap out, last one, back, and rest. Amazing job. Okay, calf raise. Are we ready? 15 to 20 with a final hold. And go, lift, lift. Woo! We don't have a ton of high intensity here, but I am sweating. Good. Awesome work. 10. Awesome job. Keep breathing through this and try not to rush. Okay, give me three more. Last two. Up and hold. Hold. 
three, two, one, and rest. Awesome work. <sighs> Amazing job. Okay, box step downs. Remember, we're coming from the top down. We're keeping constant contraction on that standing leg, on the hamstring and the glute of this, okay? So when you're ready, we're gonna step down. And we're gonna start in three, two, one. Step down, hop back up, switch. Hop back up and switch. Good. Powerfully power off the ball of that foot on the ground and through the heel on the box. Good. Push through again if this is too much. Slow it down and just give me nice taps. Push through. We are almost to our break. Keep that chest up. Core is engaged. Three, two, one. Finish it out and rest. Awesome job. Breathe through, grab some water, and we'll go through it one final time. You are crushing it. Okay, so if that squat hold, if your legs are kind of given out, this has been a hard workout, if your legs are kind of given out, you can just step a little bit closer in, so maybe shorter taps. You don't have to come all the way out. Let's control our breath. And we'll get right into that last round. This last one, I want us to eliminate the weight and I want us to try to get even lower in our squat. So 30 seconds, we're gonna start. So feet shoulders apart, hold that squat. Don't start with those taps until I say squat and hold. So feel this, feel where your body's at. Notice you're not doing this. You're not arching. Nice, strong core. So brace yourself. And we're gonna start in three, two, one. Tap, touch, back. Good, tap, touch, back. Remember, we're not supporting ourselves at all on this moving leg. We are just tapping. If you can, get a little bit lower on that other squatting leg. Oh my word. Stay strong, so last 10 seconds on this leg. Feel that glute, feel that quad. Three, two, don't quit, last one. And oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Amazing job, switch legs. Okay, same thing, we're gonna start in that squat. So, squat, core is engaged. When you're ready, we're going to stabilize ourselves and go. Tap, tap. You shouldn't feel like you're having to like catch yourself on this foot. You should kind of be leaning towards the side of that planted leg. Good. Keep breathing through it. Mind over matter here. We're working muscle endurance. We're tearing those muscle fibers to build them back even stronger. Good, get a little lower. Amazing work, give me three, two. Finish this back tap. And, oh my word, rest. Awesome job. Okay, let's get right into those calf raises. If that weight's too much, just take it down and just do body weight. Are we ready? And go lift, lift. I love to do this move. In the shower when I'm washing my hair, kind of gives me something to do. When I remember, I don't remember often, but when I do, I work out while I wash my hair. <laughs> Good work. Make sure we're pressing all the way up, all the way up on those toes. Okay, give me three, two, last one and hold. Hold it, 10, nine, eight, engage that core. Five, four, three, up, 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 two, one, and rest. Awesome job, drop that weight. Okay, let's get right into it. Let's make this count, let's finish strong. So 30 seconds of those tap backs. <sighs> nice deep breaths, let's start on our elevated surface. And go, tap down, switch, tap down. You can hold onto that wall, just make sure you're not rounding forward. We wanna keep that chest up tall, just our fingertips. Okay, let's pick up that speed if we can. Finish out. 
Good work. Push through. Less than 10 seconds. Regroup. Mind over matter. Four, three, two, one. And rest. Uh, amazing, amazing job. Oh my gosh, I can't breathe. <laughs> okay, let's slow our heart rate down. Big deep breath and big exhale. Amazing job, one more. Good, big exhale. Awesome, awesome job. If you have it in you, I wanna finish strong. If you don't, that's okay, you worked so hard. We're gonna do 30 seconds of squats into 30 seconds of jump squats if possible. So this is not a time to just push yourself and injure yourself. Give you what you got. If you got 30 seconds of squats and you're like, <laughs> good try, not doing jump squats, that's totally fine. Do what you've got, okay. So position yourself, feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna start 30 seconds, squat, nice clean squats. Right here is where we practice good squats so that we have them perfectly in our jump squats. Straight down, good. Powering through our heels, squeezing our hips, our glutes up at the top for full extension. Good. Keep that chest up tall. Okay, keep pushing through. We've got five seconds, make them good. Don't rush these. We don't wanna burn our legs. Okay, if you have it in you, jump squats and go. If you don't, just continue to do squats and you can even do squats to a box. Good. From the side, our chest is still up. Our hips are gonna, or our hips are just gonna shoot back, which drops our chest a little. We just don't wanna be like this. Chest is up tall, weight is our heels. Keep it up, we got less than five seconds. Three, two, don't quit, last one. And rest. Okay, now we're done, I promise. <laughs> amazing, amazing job. Thank you, thank you for showing up today. You crushed it. I can't really breathe. <laughs> um, let me know how you like this, I love hearing from you. Make sure you rehydrate, you refuel, and you treat your body well. Mobility, rest. Hydration, it's the key to success. So thank you for showing up with me. I'll talk to you soon. It was great working out with you.